Hi, this is Florent Busnou, Field Application Engineer for Azimuth System, and in this video we'll talk about fading models, and more precisely how to create, edit, and play fading models using an ACE channel emulator and Director 2. So what we'll first do is to go on Core Ace. I click on my ACE and I click on Configuration. To play a fading model, the first thing you need to do is to create your topology on what kind of link you want to place this fading model. So we'll just create a simple 2x2 two two link. So I click on my input port and I put base station. And I do the same thing with my output port where I put a UE. I now have my 2x2 two two MIMO link. And if you see in the link table, I now have, I now have a link between BS1 and UE1 with a downlink fading model. If I click on this arrow, I have some pre-selected uh, fading models I can I can apply. You can just take MIMO bypass and it apply MIMO bypass. Or I can go to browse and select uh, one of my fading models. So it can be all your um, licensed fading models or the model you get from standardization or custom models, models you've uh, previously created. So I can select a 2G, 3G model maybe, or an LT model using EVA, 2x2, two two, low correlation, and downlink. What I can see is for each of these models, I can see the power dealer profile and the correlation matrix. In the power dealer profile, I can see, I can see each, each tabs and each parameter of each tab. So different kind of fitting. Do I apply shadow fading? Do I have a K factor? Is it a line of sight? And what's the power and the delay, uh, relative delay compared to the first uh, tap for each of the tap of my poor geo profile? And I just need to click on play to select this model. The other possibility is to click on custom and you get here all the models you've created yourself. Uh, you, it can be that you, you've created this model from scratch or from this existing uh, fading models. And in either case, you just select the model you want to play. It can be custom or maybe this EVS 3GPP model. And I just click on play and I can now see that I have this model here. And if I want to play it, I just click on the play button and it apply this fading model to my current topology. This is for how to play a fading model. But before playing a fading model, maybe you want to create it. So if you go to test bed manager, under manager, you see this custom model manager. So we'll click, double click on this. Here are all the models I have created uh, by myself. I can access them, I can see what they look like, and I can modify them, edit them if I want to, if I want. Okay, maybe this one, this model, I want to remove one tab, just click on edit, and I want to remove this tab, so I select it, and I click on this cross, and it will just remove this tab, or I want to apply new tabs, or maybe I want to add a line of sight, different possibilities, and I can now change the K factor to 10 maybe. And I can also select, uh, select different correlation matrix, static phase, and static amplitude depending on the fading model I use. In this case, I'm using classic fading, but maybe I want now to use uh, static fading. Static fading for the first tab. and manual static amplitude and change and change uh, the static phase change the static amplitude so you can uh, basically play with all this parameter depending on what you want to create what you want to do will stay on classic fading so okay I modify some parameter of this one I've put line of sight okay line of sight is checked and I click OK now I have totally modified um, the original file the original file so I, I took this LTPA 2x2 low and I modify and I edit it and I can now not access 
the model that I had here two minutes ago. I edited, I overwrite the previous one. And can also now export uh, export this model to send it to one of my colleagues or I can import a, mo a model that I received from someone. Another possibility is to create a new model. So when you create a new model, you just put a name, okay, test video, and I can select a uh, model fading, so either geome geometric or classic, we stay on classic, and the number of ports I want. So let's say I want 2x2, two two. I want to create a 2x2 two two model. So it can be that you create a model from scratch, so create new model, or you can create a uh, copy an existing model and modify it. So what I show you previously, I just click on this one and I edit it. When I did so, I just overwrite uh, the, the previous model. But it might be that I want to keep this model, and but I want a new version with line of sight compared to this one which was without line of sight. In this case, I will just copy an existing model and modify it. We will then add a new model uh, in this in this menu. We'll start a model from scratch and click OK. So when you want to create a new model, uh, you can either uh, create it by your own, by yourself, or it might be that you find 3GPP models that we haven't implemented yet. In this case, for example, here I use a 3GPP paper 36101 and I found this uh, MBSFN model. So it might be that I, I, I can, let's say I want to create this new model. So the first thing to do is to check. Okay, first step. First step is um, zero power, zero delay really easy one nothing to do second one 30 minus 1.5 so I would just add a new tab so if you look at the graph here for now I have one tab I click on plus and I get a new tab this one will use okay both will use classic fading and if I want the first one to be a line of sight click on line of sight and I add a key factor for example now my second one so if I remember it was 30 minus 1.5 so I would put this delay so I am on tap number 2 delay 30 power minus 1.5 this is not a line of sight so I can go to the next one I add a new one the new one is 150 minus 1.4 delay 150 minus 1.4 and then I can go to the next one and I can keep doing that again and again until I've created my own new model with all the steps so as you can see it's really easy as long as you have all the parameters you need to enter uh, to create a new model, it's really easy and really straightforward. When this is all done, I just need to click on OK. And now, if I go down, I can see my test video fading model. So it was really easy to do. Now that this model is done, I want to play this model. So to do that, I just need to go back on um, my core race mode and by clicking here or directly here and select this model. So I go to model forward, browse and you will find this model under custom. If I go down, test video, here is my new model. You can check the graph, say ok, I want to play this model. I click OK. I can I can now play this model. Okay, it might be that uh, you always play the two or three same fading model over again and again and again. In this case, you don't want to always go back to Bros Custom or Bros LT 3GPP local relation blah blah. 
So what you want to do is to make it as a pre-selected model and you want to see it directly here and this is something you can do you just need to go to application settings link table here you have all your pre-selected models now maybe I don't want this one anymore instead I would like sorry, instead I would like to go to browse and I will just pick the model I want test video I click OK OK now in my drop down menu I can see this custom test video model so I can now access it really easily and if I want to play it I just click on play and it applies this new model to my 2x2 link the last possibility is to modify an existing model maybe you want to play with LT EVA model but you want make something uh, you want to modify uh, some tabs of this model or add a tab on this model so you just click on copy existing model you will go take your model uh, let's say EVA a 2x2 two two model with medium collation so you can see this model here okay this one is good I want to access this model I just click OK OK and now I can just modify this model. I can add tabs, remove tab, add line of sight, add shadow fading, change my power, change my correlation matrix. I can change everything just by playing with all these different parameters. When I'm done with it, maybe I want to add line of sight, change the power of this tab, and just change the power of maybe minus 18. And when I'm done, I just click OK. And my new model will be called as the previous one, but custom. I click OK. And now I have this new fading model uh, in my custom model manager. And I can then play with it by going through Corace. I stop my emulation. I go to Browse. And even if my original model was a 3GPP model, we won't store your new model under 3GPP LT because it's not a model from the standardization anymore, it's a custom model. So we'll just go here and select the model we just created. I click OK and you are all set, ready to place this new model. So this is all you need to know on how to modify, create, and play fading models using your Ace and Director 2. So it's really easy, really straightforward. Thank you for watching. Bye.